something uh, over as interested is why do oppressors think that they are more important than their victims? What kind of sociopath wants to protect victimizers instead of victims? What kind of psychopathic government wants to protect greedy, selfish, elitist pricks and not small, poor individuals? Something that I always find so absurd is why find the majority of humans it's so offensive when somebody say that they are immoral when historically wise the majority of people are not once on the right side of justice from the beginning point as if take a 400 years to Get a rights if you are you were right if you are black in the Western world. Another fifty to hundred years for women to get a rights. And now gay get gay people get a rights in the most countries. And dogs and cats. But like, are we not forgetting something greatly? Where's the rights for pigs, for cows, for chickens, for horses? Where's the rights for this sentient creatures? To be not exploited, to be not raped? Be not commercialized. What a sick, ridiculous puppet we are. Dancing, fucking not caring about worlds, and only living in our own little fantasies. Not knowing we are nothing. We are not what was intended. We have been a bunch of deadly sins. We are a bunch of bullies, criminals, terrorists, skips. And the majority of the scamps are not living in prison. They're walking on the streets. Morality is based on the everyday phenomenal of compassion without any alternative motive. The compassionate person is not egocentric because he or she have individualized himself with the victim, with the suffering person or animal. When this happens, the barrier between the ego and the non-ego is for one moment abolished. And therefore the person feels not different than the subject. And that's the reason why the compassionate person is totally free of immorality. And therefore compassion is the only pure motive of Morality. Morality can therefore only come from compassion. Morality cannot stem from ego or malice. The other two of the three aspects of human essence. Of homini essence. Maybe better. Hanging animals upside down on the slaughterhouse floor and then cut their bodies in parts so that somebody can eat their flesh have nothing to do with morality 
because it has nothing to do with compassion or decency. It is one action born from malice and ego. It is an act of pure psychopathy. You must know that 100% of all the serial killers on the planet are first killed. You guessed it, animals before their uh, non-human animals before their murder in mass. Human animals, or I have to call them homini or hominculi. Just your choice. Want you that I call humans in my videos homunculi or homini? Because an homunculi is one soulless homin. This one body created by humans with one fake essence of his or her being. In that regard, there are similar in a way as golems. When darkness and light become one, Reality splinter away and the truth become vegan. Uh, truth become visible. You must be vegan if you give about morality, if you give about animals, if you give about being consistent with your choices. There is no excuse against being vegan. You don't need anything that comes from animal products. And meat eaters get diseases from deficiencies, constant. And not vegans, and ve not vegans only get vitamin B3 deficiency. The majority of people have a vitamin B12 deficiency. Even in the year 2000. And Twelve or nine. Um, a group of scientists have uh, proved uh, have actually showed that uh, at least fifty one, uh, at least um, forty percent of all Americans have vitamin B twelve deficiency. How can it be a vegan issue? Huh. Oh yeah, I know it. This bullshit from the meat, dairy, and egg industry. Or how have I to say human shit? Corporate shit. Maybe that's a better choice. Tell me in the comments. Animals don't bar willing participants. That's obvious. Anybody that have even watched a little bit of. Um, Concentration camp, animal concentration camp video will understand it. If you look in their eyes, want you to have the, the um, life of a cow on a feedlot, a pig, or a chicken in a factory farm. So, it is unfair to ask for something you are not willing to give. That's an inconsistency. I will not accept any of this kind of inconsistencies. And I will not excuse. I will not hesitate to insult people. I am the true and the true is harsh. I know 
people don't like the term horror that they are responsible for an extreme big massive massacre but that don't mean that we have to be silenced this the mindset of the victimizer that is wrong not the of the victim If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easily to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, say that they are stupid, dirty, displaceable, laughable, mock them, ridicule them, kill them, murder them, rape them, exploit them. Because he don't affect you. But when you are the victim, things look a lot different from that angle. And that's what I want people to learn, to watch this situation. This thing from the animals, the victim's point of view. Because then, there is no excuse against it anymore. Say what you want to say. But it is not your right to take their freedom away. So that you can enslave them, rape them and murder them. That's not what rights are about. That's injustice. If you are in this situation, you want that somebody stand up for your rights to be free. You want that somebody stand in the face of the oppressor and say, This stops now. You let them free. This is not funny. This is not cute. It will stop now. You let them free. You let them live their life the way they want. You piece of shit. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the true become visible.